dream project was announced in September but what was announced last week was that Red Hat would stop making CentOS available in a way that we all know it exists that is a free version of a stable enterprise Linux this is a huge blow to the CentOS community as well as the enterprise customers who relied on a free version of a stable secure Red Hat Enterprise Linux. CentOS actually is being used by many large enterprises. They rely on it because it is free and it is same stable version of Enterprise Linux. Stopping of that is a blow to the enterprise community as well as the developer community. Let's, let us look at a history a little bit and then we will see what it means to the industry and what is being planned and what is happening. So CentOS project came into picture just after it had introduced its Enterprise Linux way back in 2002. CentOS started in 2004 and CentOS project started to make it available, same Enterprise Linux available as a free version. But in 2014, Red Hat announced a coming together, so-called coming together of CentOS community and Red Hat. And Red Hat said we would be sponsoring CentOS community going forward and the developers started working on Red Hat projects. Well, it was okay till that time as long as the CentOS was available in a way that we all know or that all the enterprises wanted. Uh, but in between another development happened and we all know that last year uh, IBM acquired Red Hat. Whether that was a big trigger for this change, we don't know. But this change is a big thing. It is essentially stopping a alternative that is being available, that is available to the enterprises and stopping that uh, effectively. Nothing wrong in it commercially if you ask me. Because it is free, it might have been affecting Red Hat's rate of growth. So, so for so many years it was going well, but industry is speculating that it might be influenced by IBM, Red Hat's new owners. We don't know, nobody knows. But so going forward, what happened? This was being discussed, this is being discussed in the industry a lot. You would have seen a lot of comments and there is a lot of heartburn among the community and I am told going by some of the writings that even the industry uh, or the enterprises who are depending on CentOS are not happy with this development. Well, I can understand who would not be uh, unhappy when a free version is being discontinued. Well, so what is being talked about now? What is likely to happen? So, this Red Hat says that now CentOS will be available as a project CentOS Stream. CentOS Stream uh, is an experimental version or a beta version of Enterprise Linux. So you could actually test Red Hat Enterprise Linux beforehand. But well, that is not the whole objective of CentOS. It was supposed to be a stable version being made available to you. So that is not going to be available anymore. Okay. So what you would have heard a very big announcement as a result of this was from the founder of a co-founder of CentOS, uh, Gregory, that he has announced project Rocky Linux. Obviously, he wants to. He has got a feedback that there is a big need to make this enterprise Linux available in the same way. So this is a new project. The developers are being called for contributions and coming together. We don't know what shape it will take. It's a very early time, but certainly it has opened up avenues for other Linux distribution. And this is one beauty of open source that I like that you would still have alternatives of Linux, maybe through Ubuntu or maybe through SUSE and you will continue if you want to have shift your CentOS pro, uh, workloads to other Linux, you will have those choices. Or if you have money and you want to continue relationship with Red Hat, you could move to a Red Hat Enterprise Linux, which is what Red Hat must be aiming for. But given open source, and this is the 
big promise that we have been talking about that you could have the same project same technology coming from but coming from different vendors and this would be reality now you want to move to another vendor you could yes it will not it will not be uh, straightforward there would be some uh, things to be taken care of but they would not be as big as moving from one proprietary to another proprietary platform it is going to be linux to linux only and this is a big taste of how open source is positioned and how you still have your freedom and choice of vendors i remember those words that we would we used to talk to customers early uh, days that you would still have a community support you would still have other vendors supporting to you if you don't like red hat and well this is the time when that promise and uh, that premise of open source would be tested in a much bigger way so let us wait and see how industry reacts and uh, wish you all the best if you are one of those centerwise users i'm sure you would exercise your choices stay tuned we'll talk about some other more things in coming weeks thank you